and welcome to the first session of Cooking, Cooking with Alex. Alex. I'm your host Alex and I am his assistant Aaron and today I'm going to be teaching you a very simple and easy on-the-go recipe which I did create myself and it is very easy it tastes as good and you guys will love it. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's get to it. I'm back again, and this pizza is really, really good. And, okay, one second, a jalapeno is super spicy. I'm not even joking. You should keep this on video. <laughs> This is not a joke. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Just make sure to hit the subscribe button. So we're going to be making a mini pizza. It is very simple, easy, and fast to make. It doesn't take too long, and you don't have to make anything extra like any dough or anything. It's very simple. So I'm going to go over the ingredients right now. So the first ingredient is we have our dough bread. So I recommend this, either this pita bread or Mexican tortilla wraps. And they both work great. And we can, and this recipe is also gluten free. And if you wanted to, the only thing you have to change is you can get some gluten free wraps and just make it with that. So that will be your dough. And so the other ingredients are we have some condiments here. So we have our pepperoni, right? We have our pepperoni right there. We have some jalapenos or peppers. And we have some of our normal cheddar cheese right here. You can use any cheese, but for this video, we're just going to be using cheddar. We also have some of the secret spice that I created, and it is basically just made out of some garlic powder, paprika, oregano, and Italian seasoning, and some of this seasoned salt. And you can buy all of this from the grocery store. It's very simple and easy to do. And you just and you just pour pour a little bit of each. Just mix it all together and you got some of the secret spice which I created. And the next thing is you need some pasta sauce or tomato paste. Anything works great or marinara sauce. They all taste good. But for this video we're just going to be using pasta sauce, traditional, just normal. And so the first thing you need to do is we're going to get our dough or our bread out of the bag so that we can start making. So we're going to get it out and we're going to put it on our plate. So as you can see, Aaron is making the gluten-free one, which is why it's green. It's made out of spinaches. And so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your pasta sauce. You're going to take a spoon and you're going to put it in here. And you're going to take some pasta sauce and you can like tilt the thing a little bit. And you're going to take some pasta sauce and you're going to put it on here. And you're going to spread it till it looks about right. So just spread the pasta sauce all over here. Just put a lot until it covers the whole thing. So it depends on what how big your bread is. So like a Mexican tortilla wrap, that would need more pasta sauce than this little thing of pita bread. So just gonna spread it around. Aaron is gonna spread his now. So you spread it all around, make it look nice. And you See, do want like this one takes, since this is like the size of the normal Mexican flatbread. It takes a little bit more, like Alex said. And make sure that before you start this recipe that you are washing your hands. 
um, make sure everything is sanitary and everything is washed and try not to touch the counters as much when you're cooking or leave stuff on the counters because it may be unhealthy or dirty so okay so we have our pasta sauce here and we'll just close this up right here okay the next thing you can do is you're going to take some cheese so you can bring the little cheese bowl over here so you can see and i'll put it right here and you just take some cheese and you're gonna sprinkle some on here make some oh, right there and okay so you just take some cheese and you can just sprinkle it everywhere and after you put it on it should look kind of like a pizza um so you just so right now we're just gonna spread our cheese out a little bit right make it look nice okay and it depends on how much cheese you want to put on your pizza so you can put more you can put more cheese or less cheese it's just a preference kind of thing so we spread out the cheese now and so our pizza should look like this it's not done yet so it looks nice with the cheese on it and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some pepperoni on now you do not have to but right now we're just putting on the condiments so if you want a pepperoni pizza you can put some pepperoni on so how do this is you take a piece of pepperoni you can just spread it all over here just take some pepperoni and here and you can also use salami if you don't want to use pepperoni because salami also works pretty good and it's very tasty so basically you can put any condiments that you usually have on a pizza on here we're just going with the basics here now we put the pepperoni on so we're gonna put some of this jalapenos on just peppers make it look nice and spice it up a little bit So we're still putting on a couple jalapenos here. So just make it look nice. Put some jalapenos on, the peppers, and then so Aaron's gonna try that now. And like I said before, you can put a lot of condiments. There's tons of stuff you can put on here. We're just going with the basics. And then the next thing here, we can put a couple more peppers on. Like that, okay. Should be enough. So the next thing is my spice. So you can take a little spoonful and just put it around like this. That's enough. And then, and if you want, you can make your own spice, whatever you like. Huh? So now, basically, our pizza is ready. So as you can see, we have made our pizza, and the next step is to cook. So the first thing you are gonna need to cook this is a flat baking tray. Aaron? Hey, Alex, why'd you put foil on the tray? And Aaron, that's a very good question. So some of you may be wondering why did I put foil on it? And this is actually a very good thing that you can do when cooking. You put foil on because it reduces cleaning. So say you're cooking some bread or you're making garlic bread or anything with a breaking tray that you would broil in the oven when 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 you're done with it and you don't want to wash it you can put tin foil on it in the beginning so that you can just take the tin foil off and throw it away and you'll see me do that later on after we're done i'll just take the foil off and the and i'll show you and it will be clean so the first thing you're going to need is this baking tray it's flat it's not too um deep and it's just an old baking tray and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna load our pizzas onto this tray and how we're gonna do this we're gonna, we have our handy dandy spatula here and so for mine i'm just gonna slowly scoop it up and place it down like that okay and aaron is gonna do his now so what you want to do is you want to bring it closer aaron so when you cook okay. this, and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it closer here you're gonna find an opening you're gonna slide it under like this and you're gonna kind of like boom like that oh, that's perfect okay, okay so we have that all done so now you can see our pizzas on our tray 
And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk over here. So follow me over to the oven. And you're gonna put it in the broiler. And on your oven, if you're if this is your first time using it, on your oven, you see this thing and it says bake, broil, slow cook, keep warm, and it will say a bunch of things. You find the one that says broil and you press that. And then what you're gonna do is our broiler is set to 525 Fahrenheit. It's a good reasonable temperature to cook it fast. And it will cook in five minutes, so I'll set a timer. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here and you're gonna press start and it's gonna start the thing. So as you can see when we look in here, if we look, it's gonna start heating up soon and it will become red later because it's gonna be hot. And then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna set a timer and we're gonna do five, zero, zero. Okay, and then start. Okay. Timer, five. Okay, and it's started. So now all you have to do is wait for your pizza to cook for five minutes, and I'll see you later. Hey, Alex, are you going to check on the pizza? It could burn. Oh, very good idea, Aaron. I did not think of that. So let's check on our pizza. We have about two more minutes left. It's looking pretty good. You can already smell it, and you can see the cheese is melted. <sighs> it smells delicious in there. So we're going to close that up. And we're going to wait about a minute more, and we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we're waiting for our pizza to finish. We have like 10 more seconds here on the clock. It's smelling pretty good through the oven. And what we're expecting is a really good pizza. So after this five minutes, what we're going to do is we're going to pull it out and make sure you set it somewhere where it bo where won't burn things. So our timer's up here. Let's press, um, yeah, that's fine. And then let's open up there. Ooh, <sighs> smells delicious. Mm. Let's take a second. Mm. And then let's get a close up of what those pizzas look like right there. Mm, they look pretty good. You can see the pepperoni is starting to, to broil. It's curling up and the cheese is already melted. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring extra cheese. What we're gonna do is we're gonna spread some extra cheese on the pizza. And that way it kind of adds a little more cheese and it will coat the top a little bit to make it look more realistic like a real pizza would that you would get from a restaurant. So, put some cheese on here. Make it look nice, lots of cheese. Oh, that's really good. Smell. It smells delicious. I just want to eat it like really right now. really want to eat it right now. Okay. No. So, Aaron, you can put more cheese on yours. So, it's looking really good. So, as you can see, this recipe is pretty simple. It's pretty easy to do. And then after you put the extra cheese on, you're going to put it in the oven. Well, you're going to put it in the broiler one more time, and we're going to do that for, for one more minute. And after that minute, you're going to take it out, and your pizza should be done. And it should look really good and should be really tasty. So now that Aaron's done putting his cheese, let's put it back in the broiler. Aaron, would you like to open the broiler for me? Thank you. So make sure you have you're wearing oven mitts because it is kind of hot and you do not want to get burned. So let's set a timer. Um, okay, so let's cancel. Let's set a timer for one zero zero. Okay, and I'll see you in a minute. Literally, like, it's a joke. A minute. Okay. okay, guys, so our timer is up. It's been a minute, and so we're gonna see what we have in our magical broiler in here. Mmm, smells delicious. Let's look at that pretty delicious looking pizza. Okay, so mm. our pizzas are about ready, and they are a bit hot, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here back to where we left off with our stuff. So we have our plates and our spatulas. We're going to come over here and we're take it. Be very careful. And they do stick sometimes. You've got to 
Be very careful because it is hot. So wear your oven mitt. You get that. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so you see, this is one pizza on a plate. It's looking deliciously tasty. The edges are crisp and burnt. The pepperoni starting to bend, which means it's cooking really good. And it's really tasty. So Aaron is going to put his on his plate. And then we're going to enjoy. So this pizza is really good, by the way. And if you like this video, make sure to write it down in the comments below. And also make sure to like it and hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys next time. Bon appetit. Mmm. Really good. Excellent flavor. I'm already done with mine. Already done? Yep. It was so tasty. I'm not even halfway in. Well. It's good. I Bye guys. See you guys next time. Bye.